right now you might notice a little landmark in the back right i know about this particular landmark by another um youtuber by the name of wildlife yeah you know he fishes here so um wildlife if you happen to be watching this look at me look at me this is my bayou now First time fishing here, so we'll see. Oh, okay. I just scouted it. Because I was going to throw the net, but mm -hmm. if I do that, it spooks everything out, man. No, do you think? Huh? Do you think? It's going to spook them on you, though. Throw your net. I have my cast, and I thought about doing the same thing. Well, you know what? Mm -hmm. uh, we'll do poles a little while, and then when we're all kind of done, I'll mm -hmm. throw the net. Because it spooks them out, man. Probably. Let's all, we'll just, just, we'll just do your thing. All right, but we'll fish, too, for a while, and then throw the net later. You have a catch it, or you just come over here for baits, primarily? Well... It's strange, but it's, it's almost the same thing as an environment. Like, there's times I was throwing the net and caught three or four buffalo, a couple of carp, tilapia, mm -hmm. all kind of stuff. Right. And then there's times I've been down here, and it's ghost town. Okay. It's almost the same thing as a the bio environment. You, okay. You just never know. I'm good. I appreciate it, man. What's all your right. name? John Friedman. Right now, nice to meet Burnell? you. Right now? Right now. Mm -hmm. Right now. Yes, sir. Okay. Nice to meet you. And and I should show you when we get down there, there's a certain point mm -hmm. and you can kind of see the rapids. Right. Do not, you will get caught and oh, lost for real? right in there. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. <laughs> Good to know. I appreciate it. All right. All right. So we got a local. Seems pretty cool. Let's see what we can do. All right, y'all. So based off what that gentleman said, he was a real cool dude, man. He was really concerned about spooking a fish for me. I'm like, no, nah, do your thing. I'm going to ram my cast net. Was not the game plan. But since he mentioned it, why not? All right, y'all. So welcome to Houston. You don't hear no police sirens, helicopters. You're not in my city. Okay, so there's the people who I met earlier going down. I got on my jetty boots. Oh no, it's gonna be a hell of a level and slide. So we'll see. We shall see. All right. Well, here is the bayou. Notice any landmarks? We'll see. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, we just got here. That's all. I don't know if it's shopping carts or trains mm -hmm. or okay. what, but right there, don't be right there. Got it. Yo, what's up, y'all? My name is Raynell Roy. Welcome back to Channel Fishing Trips. We'll be back for the vlog, y'all. Check it. Got a special episode for y'all today, man. As I mentioned before, Winter has arrived like Jon Snow, so I've been, you know, shift my fishing from salt water to fresh water. I'm staying in my city, man. Representing my city, Houston, Texas, that's right. So today, the goal is simple. Try not to get hepatitis B um, or hepatitis C. Secondly, I'm um, trying not to catch a dead body. And thirdly, try to catch something that's living, all right? I got bread, I got worms, I got lures, I got a cast net. If all else fails, I'm going to fish the cast net and try to catch some bait. Maybe cut it up. One thing is the sun is all almost down and if you're from Houston, you don't want to be around the urban area once the sun goes down. I, I digress, but I'm, I'm good though. You know what I'm saying? I'm good though. I'm good. I'm good. So let's get this day started, man. Um, long intro. I'm excited. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. <laughs> Enjoy the episode, y'all. Lego. I probably died today. Whoa, whoa, he already got something. My man got something. You need a net? Oh. You got it? Oh, my man is on there. Let's see if I can get him. Man, whatever the hell that is. Let me see if I can help him. Hold on, y'all. Trying to help him land it. There you go. That's. Got you, sucker. <laughs> got him. You don't keep them, do you? you need anything? <laughs> no, I'm good. I appreciate it though, but we know they're out here. This, that's about the size that would be in here. They they don't get a lot bigger than this in here. Yeah, that's a pretty big one. Was that a grass carp or uh -huh. a common carp? Uh -huh. Grass. Grass carp. That's whistling? 
I never. I'm sorry. That's the car whistling I'm hearing. No. <laughs> oh, I'm about to say. No, I'm about to say. Um, that's that hawk. Okay. That's a peregrine, I think. <laughs> okay. I was about to say. Um, that's the first. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that guy who just caught that nice car, which I'm trying to go for myself. Um, he's using like slip shots and a small hook. I still have my flower on in the trouble, but I'm just keep it on for now. He's using the exact same bait I'm using. Worms with a combination of bread. So I got the bait necessary. Now I just gotta get one. Let's get baited up. You Alright. First cast. Now you said there is a lot of hang-ups over here, so I gotta be careful. All I want is one. And my float's gonna float really quick. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I already know. My float just moving along. We're gonna have to change it up a little bit. I mean, I could get something just dragging along. You never know, right? Just keep on letting it float. Let's bring it back. They have a combination of a worm and a <coughs> float. I think there's a hang up right there by that. Yeah, we're gonna have to change this up. It's moving way too fast. All right, slight adjustment. I took off the bobber because the current is just ripping. It's not staying in one spot. I have adjusted. I'm doing a uni, the uni, a couple of sub shots, a little weights. So I got my 50 pound liter bread and worm. Should work. I might have to take off the treble, but we'll see. Oh, I think she might be on. Oh yeah, she's definitely on. Oh, yep, she's on. <laughs> My neighbors over here is on. Like, ooh, that's a big fish. It's another grass carp. Say it again. We're gonna go find a meal. All right. Um, you know how this is like, like it's like this. Okay. And then there's that the middle that goes the much deeper. Right, right. And so what I do is cast to the far flat. Okay. And then and then you can feel it uh -huh. bumping. Right until it gets down there okay and then i open the bale a little bit and uh -huh. let it go a little bit uh -huh. and that's they they stay down in that deeper okay how deep yeah. do you think it is over there four feet okay I got maybe it. three got it three or four sounds good man i appreciate it yeah thank I'll, you man i'll look at your channel and i say hi on your channel appreciate it thank okay. you man nice meeting you good to meet you too you too all right let's try this spot over here Posting another skunk video. I gotta catch something. I don't care if it's by rod, reel, gun. I gotta catch something. Very thin. It's going one damn fish. I don't think that's a lot to ask for, honestly. I just swear. One fish. One damn fish. It's like I'm cursed, man. What's a curse? One fish.
I'm about to cast net, bro. I'm about to cast net just to see if I can do it. All right. This is what happens when you cast net a city by you filled with pollution. This is not gonna end well. Here we go. Bring it back up, bring it back up. Let's see what we got. All right, Let's see what we got. Um, nothing a little hep C, um, a little hepatitis B, small crack pipe and some Houston Texan tickets. Yeah, there's nothing in the stand by you. Let's go. All right. Y'all, I am determined to catch something. You hear me? Something. That was a good ass catch, actually. I'm scared to let it hit the bottom, but <laughs> all, right. all right it's about five o'clock it's time to get the hell out of here because once again houston turns to silent hill once the sun comes down you got walking dead people you now you just don't want to be here when the sun goes down i tried y'all i gave it damn near three hours I tried worms bread could not produce the nice people I met they hooked up on a couple of grass cart this is like the third time in a row freshwater fishing and I'm getting a skunk and I debate heavily about do I still post this video because it's like what do you do honestly y'all my original plan was I was just gonna stop posting for like three or four months come back in March or April for, for the jack run but I'm like, you know what? Let me try to, you know, be consistent post content. Let me try to do freshwater fishing. It's whooping my butt. Now, if you were day one for my channel, it used to be like this when I saltwater fish. But see, now y'all know I kill it with saltwater fishing, right? So now it's like the whole evolution of being bad at something until you're, you're good at it. Right now, fishing with bread and worms, I'm not good at it. I'm not. What? Doesn't mean I'm gonna stop trying. Do I post this video? I don't know. I think I am. Because man, if you wanna rock with me when I'm catching limits, world record gar, world record this, all this crazy stuff, thousands of views, then you also need to rock with me when I'm getting skunk multiple trips coming out here for hours because you know what that's why they call it fishing not catching like comment subscribe see y'all next time peace